Hey everyone, welcome back again to Joyce Wild Collection channel for another great video. And I'm not just going to put this as an episode. This is just a special, special video uh, for today. As we all know, today's April the 22nd. And what a beautiful day on April 22nd and a record store day. And as we all were anticipating for these wonderful new releases that they were coming out throughout the, you know, all around the United States and even all around the world, different artists out there, you know, it starts from like Black Sabbath, The Police, Van Halen, and of course, one and only Elvis Presley. Now, when I first, uh, you know, got in contact with the local, somewhat local record store of mine that's not far away from me, being about like 25 miles away, um, I called them up and asked them, you know, are they participating, which I did see they were participating for the record store day. They said they were. I said, let me ask you, do you guys have Elvis Presley Burning Love rehearsal? The guy goes back. He says, you know what, buddy? I only got two copies. I said, <laughs> I said to myself, either it's going to be take it or break it, you know, because, um, the guy even told me, he said, we're opening up a little early, you know, just make sure you be there. So anyway, I was on the line. And I just actually came back from uh, from the record store along with my brother. We were both there waiting on the line for about maybe 45, 50 minutes. And there were quite some people already. And um, there it is. There it is. Ellis Presley, Burning Love, the RCA rehearsal record store day right there, as you can see on the hype sticker. How about we read that together, huh? Shall we? So it says, Record Store Day, April 22, 2003. Elvis Presley, Burning Love, the RCA rehearsals. Two LP set on the 50th anniversary edition includes 25 tracks from Elvis's historic 1972 RCA studio recordings. Produced by Ernest Mikkel Jorgensen and mixed by the Grammy Award winning producer Matt Ross Spann. There it is. A beautiful, beautiful tact. Here's the back as well. Uh, here's the spine. It's looking nice. I mean, like I said, there were only two two copies. And lucky for me, there were about, I think, about eight, ten people in front of me. And nobody batched on that. But Van Halen record, I just want to just go through the whole pile to find it. It was immediately gone. So out of the eight, ten people that were in front of me, I don't know how many copies they had actually of Van Halen. And I think they are going about what I heard, I think uh hundred dollars or something i said my god <laughs> for a record store day for a hundred dollar van halen but i was anticipated to actually pick up that record as well but i couldn't it's okay you know maybe down the line in the future i'll be able to but this is was on my list of participation to be picked up for and i'm glad to have it in my hands so let's see what it says here i'll read along with you guys over here that's a little bit uh Outline it says from March 27th through the 29th of 1972, Elvis recorded at the RCA studios in Hollywood for the first time in 12 years. Those dates also mark the debut of his accumulated TCB live band at the actual recording sessions, which inspired great performances like Burn in Love, Always on My Mind, Full, and Separate Ways. A few days later, at the same location, RCA recorded a unique Fly on the Wall versions of his songs during Elvis's and the band's rehearsals for his forthcoming April tour, which be the on tour that he had. So, this is to celebrate the 50th anniversary of this historic event, as it stated the same thing on the, on the hype sticker, the two LP set produced by Ernest Mikkel Jurgensen, mixed by the award Grammy producer Matt Ross Spann, features rare studio outtakes, intimate rehearsal highlights. There it is. You got basically two records, and on the two records you have about, I was saying, yeah... Okay, so it's it's about, I would say, 11 tracks on both records. 11, 12 tracks on both records right here. You could take a look. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. So if you guys want to pause, you could pause to see the track titles, what are inside this record. So sorry about the glare, but that's what it is. Beautiful, beautiful set. So I even got my mighty little blade. How about we open it together to make a seal to reveal type? I know the, uh, Ed had it about a couple of days ago and I said my guy blow my mind away once I saw the beautiful copy I think there was another gentleman on YouTube that I saw he had as well I think he's from a record store somewhere different states um I saw his as well seal to reveal type of video so here we go we're opening it up 
I am going to save the original shrink wrap as always. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't, you know, damage anything. So it's right here. We're going down, sliding. There. Okay. So shrink wrap is open. Taking off the shrink wrap. Make sure the shrink wrap comes from the corner down, as we can see. So here's the shrink wrap one more time. Even if they had a price on it, as you can see, the price is was uh, listed right here. If you guys can see it, yeah. There it is, the hype stick. I mean, when I saw it from Ed's uh, seal to reveal, it was beautiful inside. Yeah, check that out. Awesome. I mean, take a look. That's the first side for the gatefold, beautiful gatefold. Yeah. And then, of course, on this side, you got the singles from uh, Burning Love, Separate Ways. Beautiful, beautiful copy. So, let's see what we have. Let's get out the first record, shall we? It's usually in a generic, I believe. Yes, it is, in a little ricey kind of paper. Let's take a look at the glance of the first record. Here it is, holding in my hands. Side A, let's take a look. Huh. I'll be honest with you, it looks like in a really, really nice shape. Not really of a dead wax on that side. Little lines here and there, but all honestly, it looks nice. Take a look at it. I mean, you know, it's just by the video, it's not that much deceiving as you see in a person. So, as you can see, it's right there. Here's the B side. Beautiful. Nice. Definitely, I'm going to pop this up on my turntable once I finish this uh, video on this and give you my overall take as well. What I heard was from a couple of people, they enjoyed it really much thoroughly. Uh, the sound quality control on this 12-piece uh, set is pretty amazing. Even though this came out on the box set, on the Elvis on Tour box set, which I'll be honest with you, I always enjoyed it. And I had that set just playing about a couple of days ago on my radio as well. I mean, my stereo. So here's the second record. Let's take a look at the second record as well. I just do not like these paper sleeves. Definitely I'm putting them in MoFi and see and hope that they're not warped as well. So yeah, beautiful look at copy. Okay, over here I see a little bit of kind of uh, yeah, little spots. And this side is just amazing. It looks neat. Take a look. So that's the side D and side C. Now I also want to dedicate this record or this album to one of my followers, my viewers that has been with my channel from I believe even from the day one when I was posting up mostly all my recordings and everything. She goes by Kanga Wama. And this album basically I'm dedicating this to her because her favorite song, Anticipating, is Burning Love. And I told her about it that I'll be picking it up and that I was gonna dedicate this album to her. And I know thoroughly she enjoys this song. So Wama, this is for you. And um, again, you know, I think each and one of you out there that all my followers, my viewers, that make this very enjoyable, you know, just as it was yesterday uh, when I had my first live uh, stream with you guys and I had Curtis Simpkins as my guest, which I'm really, really thankful for him stopping by and being my first guest. And there'll be more to come. You know, I'll be having Ed for the King's Court, probably Mark from Mark's Everyone Else, uh, I mean Elvis Channel. Uh, probably even David from Japan, and so on and so forth. I'm going to try to, you know, schedule this uh, to work with their times, you know, if everybody has that correct schedule. And um, as well as, you know, solo kind of live streams so I can interact with you guys. And I feel like that's the best way. You know, and, and, and I could say, and I, and I had seen it, you know, with the Ellis community, we always are out there to help each other. And I've seen that. And... Um, I just want to put this out there because I even came across this morning, um, Ed had come across to me and I'm just putting this out because I just want to be thankful for this. Uh, he got in contact with also another viewer of ours that's both on our channels. Her name is uh, Vanessa and Vanessa, I appreciate it so much because I know you actually went out and picked up basically two copies and you were holding one for me in case I didn't make it because you didn't remember probably 
I told on my live stream that there was only two copies in this record store. So again, Vanessa, thank you so much. I do hope whoever gets that second copy that you have is going to be amazed the same way as thoroughly as I am. Mostly grateful and thankful and your generosity as well. So thank you again, Vanessa. And thank you, Ed, for contacting me and letting me know about that. But anyway, to all my other fans and followers, my viewers that are here with the Ellis community, let's keep his legacy alive and well. That's the most important because I seen tremendous turnaround from about already two, two to three years. And even just last year with the new movie that came out, it has influenced a lot of people. And I'm telling you, this is this is the thing. Him just being who he was, the humble hearted man, the generosity of who he was, the humanity, who, how he gave and the things that he has done out through the communities and his family, his friends. That's the little things that matter the most. And I think that's the reason mostly all of us as Elvis Presley fans appreciate for what he has done. So, guys, let's keep continuing. Thank you so much. If you like, please leave a comment below. And let me know your thoughts as well about this uh, record store they released. Did you pick up? Were you able to pick up at your record store? Or any other cut of uh, various artists out there? You know, just put it down in your comments below on this video. Because I would like to hear your feedback as well. So, again... Thank you so much. Hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed weekend and on this Saturday as well. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Be well.